Beatnik philosophers believe that energy existed inside words. If used in the right combination, that energy could be released into a new world. They called it projective poetry. When Kerouac published his novel On the Road, he entered into the mainstream becoming part of the American culture. He spent the rest of his years trying to escape it. Kerouac died in 1969 of an abdominal hemorrhage. He became a god. Sky, 
Tequila, burger ball. You think? Yeah, I'll tell you. Wait, give it to Shaka. Yeah, Jack. Here, let me eat and Crosby. You should see. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should not. Okay, come on, drink up. Drink up. Hey, uh, Mr. Thomas. Oh, wait, wait, shut up. It's the bus boy. <laughs> Crosby, I'm from the San Francisco Art Society. Hey, man, we're not interested, all right? Go. <laughs> Is there a problem? Who let you in here, man? We don't serve your kind. I'm Jack Tom. Shut up. <laughs> Is there somewhere where we can talk alone? Right here is fine. As I said previously, my name is Ian Crosby. From the San Francisco Art Society. Man, we never heard of you, man. You heard of him? We do have gallery openings and oh, man. poetry publishings and theater. All kinds of theater. Ooh. Pretty pretentious stuff, if uh, my memory serves. What do you want? I want to offer you a very special opportunity. What kind of opportunity? A grant, really come to San Francisco and write your poetry. No, no, I don't write it. I just say whatever comes to mind, free association, that type of thing. <sighs> so tragic. All those words go to waste when you don't share them with the public. <laughs> write it down, it gets packaged and sold. Mm. Is that so terribly wrong? It tends to corrupt the meaning. $25,000 for one year's worth of poetry, Mr. Thomas. $25,000? That's it. <laughs> Funny when my scouts mentioned you to me, they didn't mention sarcasm as one of your defining traits. Really? What did they say, Ian? Smothered genius. take you to San Francisco where you'll be surrounded by other budding artists in a caucus of poets. Sole dedication is to the beauty and emotion of the spoken word. Interesting proposition, Mr. Crosby. I'll think about it. When you're finished, let me know. In the time, day and night. Ruined in my show early last night, bro. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. Words start flowing, he ain't stopping. On the brighter side of things, we got home, he banged the shit out of me. <laughs> ah, roommate. Oh, uh, man, your phone took care of the romance. Yeah, it did. I mean, she was real aggressive, man. She was doing some crazy shit. Hey, you ever seen Lions, mate? You twisted, you know? Twisted? I say, I say we twist this. Nope, housewarming gift. Housewarming gift. Uh, can't believe you're talking me into this shit, Jack. Look, man, Cruz is a cool cat. He's just a little whacked out, that's all. I don't trust him. Dude, why not? He's done more drugs than you and I will ever see. Oh, so what, man? He's a fucked up ex-beatnik, right? Probably still tripping from Altamont. <laughs> huh? Yeah. 
and encourage poetry and has venom. Nine published volumes. Naropa Institute. I don't trust him. Though. Why not God over reliability? Because he's old. And what, what, did you meet him like a month ago? That was your best friend? Look, I just want to pick his brain about San Francisco, that's all. All right, take your bottle. Dude, this is bullshit. Let's go, all right? Just hold on. Stop. Please, I have to friendship. make dinner for my husband. Hi. <laughs> Jesus, Jack, you're gonna give me a heart attack. You're always this startled? Well, husbands don't usually knock, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Shit, come on in, man. Glad you guys didn't get here any earlier. Yeah, sorry we didn't call, man. Uh, dick hurts. So, uh, welcome to my abode. <coughs> One hell of a party last night. Yeah, man, sorry we missed it. Yeah, maybe next time, eh? Uh, I'd love to. So, what do you got in the bag, Jack? A little spice for your coffee? Ah, uh, you always were a good boy. Does your silent friend want one? Oh, I'm sorry, this is Dean. He sings over a Backlash. I've never seen him there. Dean's got a deal going on with Cataclysm Records. You heard of him? So many new labels, hard to keep track. Hey, Dean, why'd you put on some music? He's got some great records, man. What's a record, man? Probably even got some Charlie Parker. This isn't just a social vision, I need your advice. Shoot. I got offered a grant in San Francisco. From Ian Crosby at the Art Society. How'd you know that? This just happened last night, Curry. I don't just hang around this apartment all day, man. Word on the street names you as uh, the hot commodity. Commodity? And I knew they'd sniff you out. You got exactly what they need. Which is? Anger, passion, naivete. Everything to package a spokesman for the revolution. I'm not following you. <laughs> okay, dig. Every uh, 20, 25 years, the creative underbelly breathes life into the main Fucking it all up. Pissing off parents from doing things their way. Sixties were a long time ago, Jack. Now it's your turn. What if I don't want to be part of it? Well, you don't have a choice. You know what precedes a dominant counterculture, Jack? Depression. Youth. God's green is gold. Curry, is this really you and Jim Morrison? Sure is. 1969. Morrison's a god. Overrated drunk. Anyway, San Fran would be a great opportunity for you. Might take you to the next level. Maybe scrawl your name in the history books. I'd love to go, but what about my friends? I'll always be here. I know, but Dean's been in trouble with the cops again, and... Schrader? Yeah. Richard Schrader, you know him? I know him. You stay away, you hear? It's not me, it's Dean. He's gotten nailed twice for possession. Schrader's all over his ass. Look, just concentrate all your time on your words. What about San Francisco? Freedom of choice is a fallacy, Jack dies with the leaves on the trees. Yeah, have another drink.
every time. Charlie. Where are we going, man? Home to bed. Oh, boring. Come on. What are we doing? Yeah, once. You told me about it once. It's a great delirium, right? Really clears the head. <laughs> Come on, man. Just a couple hours. Uh -uh. I'm tired. All right, fine. Why don't you take Jacqueline? Okay. And I'll catch up to you a little later. All right? Oh, no, nah, man. Please. I got some exploring to do. I'll see you guys later. All right? Bye. You think he'll be okay? He'll be fine. Later! Late to be window shopping, Dean. Just hanging out, man. You want to tell me what you're doing? Nothing. What is you nothing at home? When I'm finished. You mocking me? Just wandering through the night, man. All right. Yeah, maybe I caught you breaking in or looking to get some of your damn kicks. You don't want it to get laid. I heard your wife walk this time of night. You fucking punk. I'm taking you to jail right now. I didn't do anything. What you gonna steal, huh? Let's see. It's pretty nice. Icarus. He's some sort of saint. Greek mythology, man. Right. Right. Chase the mentor. Father made him wings of wax. We can escape an island. We didn't make it. Flew too close to the sun, burned his wings off. Fell to the sea and drowned. He's an idiot. But he had a great view. Get out of here. You're a nice man, Officer Schrader. Thank you very much. Don't push me, punk! Just because I'm twice your age don't mean I won't kick your ass. And you going home. I did something. Back. I ain't worried about that, man. You said you weren't gonna take with Schrader anymore. It's not your problem. Bullshit, it's not, man. Destruction of private property, vandalism. Just drop it, all right? Hey, we're gonna stop this before it escalates any further. All right, let's go get a drink, all right? Listen, man, you're pushing it way too hard. 
Curry warned me Schrader's not play with a full deck, and you just want to see how far you can push it. Backlash is open this early. I'm sick and tired of bailing you out, man. I might not be there next time you get nailed. Well, where are you going to be? San Francisco? It's low, man. Are you going? Maybe, I don't know. Well, if nothing's keeping you here, Jack, why don't you just go find your fame and fortune? That's not what I'm after, but I gotta take my opportunities when they arise. <laughs> You're such a gullible bastard, Jack. You believe all that counterculture crap, don't you? Your friend Curry's got your head filled up so much with these revolutionary ideas about San Francisco, but any revolution that starts, Jack, it starts right here, and it starts right here. So start taking care of those areas, and there's no place you can't be. All I'm saying is that you should stay here, we should stay here together and do the starving artist thing, you know, a passion for a passion. Poor but happy. I guarantee you they will write a book about us one day. Poor but happy, huh? Yeah, poor but happy, absolutely. Fine, I'll stay. Just to watch your dumb ass. Let's do it. How about we go get a drink? Yeah, you buy it too. <laughs> Let's go. Jack, how much did you make tonight? Maybe 50, how about you? Yeah, it's like 32. Oh my gosh, thank you. Hey, how are you, Rich? You can buy for my check, huh? Man, business has been kind of slow. What the fuck is this? I own half this bar. This is all I get? Come on, Rich. I told you business was slow. This is a full amount. No. Look, next week, I want the full amount and a check as usual. No problem. Come here. Look at you. You act like I'm the goddamn mob, for Christ's sakes. I'm your brother. And if any of these employees Stick their grubby little fingers into that cash register, you let me know. I'll take care of it, okay? Listen, why don't you stay then and have a drink? Can't. Got to pick up the ball and chain at the airport. She took Carrie to visit her mom this weekend. One goddamn pain in the ass after another. Ain't no kicks here, Dean. He's picking up my girl, man. Ready to go, Eve? Go to hell. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No, you know what? Sorry doesn't cut it this time. You went to jail and didn't even bother to call me. Not a word, nothing. I just about had to pry it out of Jack, which, of course, you had no problem telling first, right? Look, I didn't want to bring you into it, okay? Dean, you don't, you never bring me into anything, you know, except maybe your bed. Eve, Eve, I'm sorry. I promise, I'm sorry. Okay? Oh. What's her problem, huh? You, man. Go. Wait, baby, wait. I'm sorry. Just wait. What? Look, Dean, I don't know if you were dead or alive or just being an asshole. All right, either, either way, you should have called me. Okay, I'm sorry. I want to make no. it up to you, okay? Let Dean, me you always do this to me, okay? Not this time. Finish my demo for Cataclysm. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. Are you going to send it out? No, next week. 
and you can even lick the stamps. You're still in the doghouse, buddy. Look, I'm sorry. Look what else I got. I got a picture of a rose. That's nice. It's for you. Look. Really? Look, it's a hand holding a rose. <laughs> Is that your hand? That's my hand. Am I still in the doghouse, huh? Yes, you're still in the doghouse. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> It was trippy, man. They're all 27 when they died. Cobain, Hendrix, Joplin, Morrison. 27, take them in their prime, man. Huh? What about Andy Gitt, man? Who? What? This is truly stimulating conversation. Can one of you geniuses turn your head? Must get. No, man, I got a better idea. Yeah. Must get kicks. Aw, oh, Dean, what? Come on, let's get some fun. And he's got that twinkle in his eye. About a house. Oh no. 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 Anything but no that. Way. Oh my god, you guys are so boring. Come on, it's easy, easy, easy stuff. Man. They go in the keys under the mat. How do you know that? I know that, man. I got a sister's friend who made babysits, man. Check it out. We go in, man. <laughs> I'm not even joking with you, man. We go in, move some stuff around, excuse me, and uh, we're fun. Trust me, alright? You sure? You sure there's nobody home, man? Seriously. I'm sure. Prepare to hunt. <laughs> Where'd you get the key? Are your gloves on? Yeah. Where'd you get the key? Shh, don't the worry where I down. don't worry where I got the key. Jack, that's my beer. You get to clean it up. Okay. Alright, listen up. This is what we're gonna do. Slight rearranging. I don't want anything missing, Jack, alright? You take the kitchen, you take the living room. And I'm gonna take you upstairs, okay? Man, let's go. Come on, Dean. I don't like this. Trust me. Trust me. I've heard that before. You got any beer? Bring me one, will ya? Even ghosts get parched. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mallow. Oh. Gino Vanelli. Dry sand. Barbara, my favorite. You know, it's frightening how the music one listens to speaks volumes about their personality. Sometimes it's the only way to express the inexpressible. What, music? Yeah. I mean, 
My words can't always do it. At least not as, as effectively. It's like, like the perfect guitar riff. It can take you anywhere you want to go. Sometimes it takes me sentence after sentence after sentence to achieve what Dean does with one inflection of his voice. So tell me about your poems. It's hard to put into words. It's, uh, <laughs> that sounds funny coming from me, but it's purely an, an emotional outlet. I don't know, it's, um, the words tap down on my tongue almost tickles it. It's, it's like the perfect syntax. When you hit the perfect syntax, it's almost like orgasmic. It's like your photography. You know, like, uh, when you've got the right composition and the perfect lighting, it hits your heart. Yeah. To follow your impulses, no matter how crazy, dangerous, Mundane. We still are talking about your photography, right? Yeah, Jack, always about the art. Raider's house. Dean, get down here! Just a second. He knew this was Schrader's house. Shot at us. I don't believe it. Oh my god, Jack, you okay? I'm sick. Dad, are you alright, man? <laughs> no, I'm sick. Oh, that's alright. You'll be alright. <sighs> you stay with him and I'll get the car. <coughs> you okay, man? Jack, you okay? He's been shot at him. Man, he's a crazy motherfucker. I can't believe he took a pop shot, man. Total lack of respect, if you ask me, man. You idiot, man? What? What, you nuts? You're crazy, you're certifiable, man. You lied to both Eve and me. Yeah, had I lied? You deliberately took us to Hans Schrader's house. You knew he wasn't away for the weekend, and I don't even want to know how you knew about the key under the mat. And you jumped off the edge, pal, and you tried to take us with you. Leave Schrader to me. No, no, no. Don't you get it? Since you convinced me to stay here, man, you're not going to do anything except what I tell you. You're going to sleep, you're going to eat, you're going to play your music, and that's it. You got it? Can't sleep. Dean, you almost got us killed, man. On another one of your bureau searches for kicks. What? Listen here, man. Is your blood pumping? Huh? Huh? Is your blood boiling, Jack? Relish it, man. We just had a grand experience. More like a waste of time. Nothing's waste that makes a memory, Jack. You of all people should know that. <laughs> <laughs> Burn, 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 baby. Burn, 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 baby. Don't worry so much, huh? You can get old on me, 
it real fast. Go. Sometimes I wonder. Really? A beautiful, talented woman like yourself? Well, we've been having some problems lately. You know, if I was him, I wouldn't let you wander too far. You know what? You're not him. Excuse me. I drove. Excuse me. Just about does it, Tom. I'm out of here. Eve, why don't you stay? Why don't you stay and have one drink with me? No, I can't. It's late. No, Eve, I've been, uh... I've been watching you for a long time. Tom, don't. Don't what? I'm just trying to compliment you. Look, I have to go. You have to. Yeah, I have you to. You don't have a choice, huh? No, you don't have a choice. Ah! <laughs> Me, what's up? No, man, I can't sleep. You working tomorrow night, man? Yeah, good. I'm gonna come in for a drink, man. Yeah, be ready for me. Tonight was even worse than last night. <sighs> Fucking Richie's gonna kill me. Hey, Jack. Eve mentioned why she didn't come in tonight. That she was sick. Just sick. Isn't that enough? You know, that's the problem with you people. You get a little sniffle and work is the first thing to go. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Well, see, yeah. Why she want to miss all the fun? Uh, 
let's call it a night, Jack. What's up, Jack? Oh, what's happening, Dean? Jack, last call. Actually, we were just about to close up, but I think I can swing you a bourbon. We're closed. I'd like a bourbon, please. I got my ID. I said we're closed, Jack. Close the door behind your friend here. Dean, let's just go to Backlash, man. Maybe I'll let you sing or something. One drink, then I'll go. I said no. How about yes? I don't serve your kind. Oh, you don't serve my kind? What's my kind, huh? Huh? Look, you can leave on your feet, or you can leave on your ass. It doesn't matter none to me. Look, man, it's okay, all right, Tom? I'll take care of you. He's probably drunk. I'm not drunk, all right? He's not out here in one minute. I'm calling my brother. Ooh, ooh, scary. Yeah? We'll see. Yeah, we will. One minute, Jack. What are you doing? The guy's an asshole, man. The guy's my boss. You trying to get even me fired? You've already quit. What? When? I don't blame her to tell you the truth. What are you talking about? It's up, Jack. Why'd she quit? Tom Schrader. What's it gonna be, sport? Just hold on. Eve left something here, man. You give it to me, and I'll leave. I haven't seen anything first. Yeah, I should hope the hell not, man. But little Tommy here has, haven't you? Haven't you, dickhead? Black panties with the little red rose. Give them to me. What's going on? Oh, man. Fucking disrespectful. Oh, fuck, man! Come on, show some respect, huh? Huh? Fuck out. You want some of this? Huh? You are fighting. Fuck out. I'm gonna call my brother and have that little fucker arrested. Don't. I don't even know what the hell's going on here, man. You want some more? Tried to rape you. Normal routine, Jack. Nothing unusual. Do you hear what I'm saying to you, Jack? Are you with me? I'm gonna Jimmy open the register, Jack, and take the cash. Watch the blood on the floor, Jimmy. Mr. Thomas? Mr. Thomas, are you in there? Who's there? It's Ian Crosby from the Art Society. We spoke last week. I'm very worried about your future, Mr. Thomas. So am I, Ian. I offered you an amazing opportunity. I haven't heard a word since. I've decided to stay here. This is very distressing. Look, I'd love to go to San Francisco. Just the timing's all out of whack, that's all. You need this. The Art Society is guaranteed to publish your first volume. I'm perfectly happy to speak my poetry on stage. Why do I need to write it down and be published? To share your body of work with a larger audience. If I write it down, I dilute the meaning. Even the purpose for creating it in the first place. Your poems are special. They're very unique. Consequently, they can put you on the map as a major force in contemporary American poetry. That's not why I do it. Why do you do it? 
I spent most of my young life traveling between my mom in L.A. and my dad in New York. Best part about dual custody was a frequent flyer mile. All that time, I spent alone. So much time. Words were always there. Bouncing around in my mind like tiny echoes. What caused you to let him out? Simple observation. That we live in a magnificent, wondrous, horrifying world, Ian. I see it all. I feel it all. Then provide the answers that people are looking for. I have nothing to offer anyone except my own confusion. Meaning? It's hard to save somebody from drowning when you tread in water yourself. I knew you were going to show. I knew you were coming tonight. I told you I'd be here. Man, I'm having a little party here. You didn't say nothing about a party. I'm having a little party. Did you say cataclysm? What about? Oh, you know, they heard my demo. They want to sign me to, you know, record deal. Choice, Dean. Great. Really choice, man. You got studio time in one month. Where? Not here? Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Don't even worry, dude. I will be back. I'll be back. You're a selfish son of a bitch, man. Come on, Jack. Is that any way to congratulate a rock star? What about the starving artist thing, huh? Poor but happy? Or is that just all bullshit? Jack, my uh, musical vision is going to take me to the next level. You know, cover of Rolling Stone magazine. I'm not going to shy away from that. Come on, man. You know what's up. Yeah, and how many murderers made it to the cover of Rolling Stone? You're a fucking hypocrite. Man, knock it off, all right? Jack, I'm going to tell them all tonight. And to celebrate the event of the rock star, I want you to recite the spoken word for me, all right? What about Eve, man? She know? Oh, Eve, Eve knows nothing about nothing, OK? You're going to speak or what, huh? Yeah, I'll speak. All right, I knew you would. I knew you would, Jack. Hey, you guys start without me? Hey, my beauty, how are you? Oh, good. Hey, did you guys hear what happened? Oh, he got shot right in the head for a measly two hundred dollars. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Oh, rude. Anyways, I hear Schwader's busting ass trying to find the guys who did it. Guys? Why guys? Guys, as in S, as in plural, as in more than one. I hear it could be a gang. Of guys. <laughs> so listen, what's the big surprise? Oh, you know, he's got a little record deal with Catacomb. Oh, good. I knew it would happen. I knew it would. I'm so happy. Yeah, you rock star. Oh, get a picture of the rock star. Oh. <laughs> Human. Jack, not what too happy. Jack's not too happy. You know, I gotta go to Los Angeles. No, no, Dean. Gods have to be reborn every 25 years or so anyway, right? Timing's perfect. Let me know what I'm doing. Hey, Jack! What about the farewell drive? <laughs> <laughs> Dean, when we land? Yo, Dean, you're on. Come on. I gotta go.
Yeah, I like to have a little good news for you tonight, right? We have uh, one of those big boys in Los Angeles. We got one of those long distance calls. And uh, they're interested in us coming out there and spending a little time in their studio. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, I mean, well, it's not like I'm going to play this town forever now, is it? Well, how quickly they turn. Well, you get a little help up here, Jack, huh? Bring Jack up here. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, yeah. Did I forget something? We need to talk. Work my statement at the station. Just indulge me. Come on in. Have a seat. I'll stand. One glass of water. Icarus. Yeah, from Greek mythology. Yes, I know. He burned his wings off when he flew too close to the sun. Pretty trippy stuff. What can I help you with? I'll be brief. I want to know what really happened at my bar. I told you everything I know. I don't believe you. I'm gonna have to. This is what I think, and I hope you appreciate my candor. Fire away. A little while back, I was returning with my wife to our home. Seems she went away for the weekend. Think about divorcing me. Sorry to hear that. When we returned from the airport, it seems there was some burglar scumbags in my house. They stole a gun. My gun. And ran out the front door. I didn't see their faces, only their backs. But what I did see was two long-haired punks and a broad. Turns out, my baby brother gets killed in a senseless robbery of my bar. 
my mama cried and cried and cried. Wait a minute. I'm not done, boy. Strangest thing about the murder was the ballistics proved it was my gun that killed Tom. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm thinking there's got to be a connection between the three burglars and who splattered my brother's brains all over that floor. Jesus, man, you're nuts. Who killed my brother? I told you. I didn't hear about the murder till I got home the next morning. <laughs> Jack. I'm not positive, but I think this is illegal. Murder is illegal. I want you to say it. Fine. Shut up your ass, you old fuck. This is the way you want it, Jack? Who happened to me? Seems Schrader didn't like my statement about Tom's murder. Is he trying to blame you for this? And this is how he does it? Oh, son of a bitch. I'm going to police. What are you doing? Don't. He can't get away with this. Just don't. I can't tell you why. Please. Oh. Too many damn secrets, huh? Nobody tells me shit, you know? It's either, sorry, E, tell you later, or I can't tell you at all. You know what, Jack? I'm sick of it, okay? I'm sick of it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. I'm fine. Are you okay? Hey, man, how you doing? What took you? Fire my band, man. What happened to your face? Schrader came to my house and paid me a visit. Wanted to know who shot his brother. Well, what'd you tell him? Look at me, man. What do you think I told him? Look, things have changed. Nothing's changed. What do you mean, nothing's changed? You mean nothing's changed, man. It's always been like this. You just weren't paying attention. I'm a sellout. It's funny because I don't remember making this choice. It just, just happens, you know? I think some time apart would be good. With you in LA and me staying here. I need some space. I think that's a good idea. Charlie's got the $200 we took from the bar. She's got an envelope with backlash. Let her keep it. I think you'll need it when you take Eve to San Francisco. I want you to take the grant at the Art Society. What? We've always been honest with each other, right? Have we? Yeah, we have. I'm not in love with Eve. I never was. 
All right, you are. All right, don't even deny it, Jack. I see the way you guys look at each other. I see the way she looks at you. You deserve her. She deserves you. I don't deserve her. Why are you telling me this? You're missing the whole point, all right? She loves you, Jack. You should be together. One last time, meet me at Backlash, all right? Old time's sake. All right? Sure, man. Something's happened. That's good. No, it's bad. It's very bad. Told you to concentrate on your words, Jack. Looks like someone took quite a shine to kick in your pretty face. Yeah, Schrader. Take my advice and listen this time. Sever all contact with Richard Schrader. He thinks I killed his brother. At the grill last week? Yeah, with the grill. Did you do it? Jack. What have you wrought? Can I trust you, Curry? I was there, but I didn't pull the trigger. Was it Dean? Yeah, it was Dean. So you want me to help you? Thinking of bailing the whole damn thing. Maybe taking a grant. Do it. As soon as possible. Won't that seem suspicious? You know, that's the least of your problems. When Schrader finds out, he's gonna come for you with his finger on the trigger. And not just you, but everyone around you as well. An accident here, a mugging there, nice and quiet. God, man, what have I done? Did not picture my life to be going this way. Well, when you're young, you carry the notion that you'll be clean and innocent forever. And now? You're just like everyone else. Yeah, as soon as possible. I'm ready when you are. How about next week? How about tonight? Tomorrow. How about tomorrow? Taking Eve? She'll go. She'll go. She'll go. Miss us, man? Not us, ma'am. There'll be someone new to take our place. <laughs> How'd you con Charlie into letting you close? All these bottles of liquor and no one to cut you off? <laughs> Trust me. Figured she owed me some money on some back gigs, you know? Guess she also figured we can use a little going away party. I would have had in mind, but. I think we should have left tonight, Jack. Why? You didn't tell anybody about the murder, did you? No, you just don't drop that nano conversation. I guess I'm just tripping, you know? Being a little weird. I'm real tired, Jack. Let me just go drain. 
if I can find a pisser. some coffee? You know, this coffee cost me an arm and a leg. You know, I tried looking at all these gourmet coffee stores and I could never find it. Up until one day, I'm searching for a ripe tomato and bam, there it sits at Josie's Market, not two blocks from here. I gotta tell you something. I, I was so freaked. I mean, people were staring. <laughs> Eve, Dean's dead. I told myself that I wasn't going to cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So how did it happen?
had you sleep? I didn't. Things only been dead a few hours and I'm already in bed with his girlfriend. Sick. I'm not a possession that gets passed around from owner to owner, Jack. That's not what I meant. I wanted it to happen, and so did you. So did Dean. What? Nothing. So what do we do now? Get out of town as fast as possible. Why? Schrader's gonna be coming for me. Maybe even you. Let's pack everything that's important. You need the train tracks by the edge of town, you know, by the thing? Yeah, I know. If I'm not there in three hours, blaze without me. I'm not just gonna leave. <laughs> just wait at the first gas station by the edge of town, okay? It's safer if you leave by yourself. Jack, please don't. I'll take care of some business. I'm not a murderer. Then tell me where you're going. To see an old friend. Hello, Curry. Hey, Jack. I'm shaking. Nervous? Well, it's not every day I come home to find someone sitting in my bed. People after married women, Curry. I told you he's driving me nuts. Dean's dead. I know, I heard. You okay? Schrader shot him dead. I tried to warn you about Schrader. Terrible, terrible loss. I can't figure out how Schrader knew it was Dean. I mean, Dean and I were the only ones who were there. And I told you. Whoa now, Jack. I didn't say a word to anyone. I want the truth, Curry. Come on, Jack. You think I tell that scumbag anything? Did you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Maybe you were drunk and it slipped out. Maybe you told someone who told Schrader. Maybe Schrader had something on you and used this a bit of information to save your ass. Sick. What the truth? Well, who doesn't? But the fact remains, it wasn't me. Is it so hard to tell the truth? Jack, you're freaking on me. What the goddamn truth, Curry? Jesus, kid. I'm not a kid. You serious? You think I told Schrader? Just tell me. Tell you what? I squawked to the police about your murdering buddy? That's head shit, man. There's no loyalty as far as that's concerned. Did you tell Schrader? Yeah. Welcome to the party, Jack. You cover your ass on this side of the wall. If it makes my life easier by turning in a murderer, so be it. He was my best friend. Well, not mine. I didn't have a choice. Schrader busted me before I planted some shit in my apartment. I spent six years in the pen for that. Six fucking years! If I didn't give him something, I was gonna go away again with a dirty thing illegal or not. You'll get used to it. Yeah, who is it? <laughs> Fuck him, he shot me. He fucking shot me. Help me, Jack. You gotta help me. Where are you going, Jack? Jack, you little shit, Jack!
sip, Charlie. Jack, how you feeling? Need to pick up an envelope Dean left. Yeah. He mentioned you might be by to pick it up. Here it is. Is the mic on? Give me a minute. serve your kind, not unless you're mine. The blood sparkles on the floor, but nothing is a waste that makes a memory. Blackout, and the Roman candles burn out. Did Icarus scream on his way to the sea? It doesn't really matter. Ears filled with geriatric diatribes. Spoon-fed television at the back of the bus. Nihilistic numbers reaching one to five. Here we are now. Entertain us. Thanks. Head now, Charlie. Why don't you come in tonight? These kids would love it. Stay pure, Jack, huh? Take good care of Eve. You got me? I'll try. Yeah, collect call from Jack Thomas. Yeah, Mr. Crosby, it's Jack Thomas. Yeah, listen, I can't talk long. I just want to know if that gram's still available. If it is, I'd like to take it. Yeah, yeah, I just, I need a new, I need a new start, man. Yeah, I'm ready to get down to business. All right, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for taking the call, later. Who's next?
what happened to you? It's not right. No, come on. I gotta take you to the hospital. No. We can fix it on the road. How do you feel? I feel old. Steps to be reached. 